Hi all. Welcome to this educational tutorial. I am Dr. Nabila, Assistant Professor from the Department of Microbiology, Auxilium College, Vellore. Well we are going to discuss about immunity and its types. What is immunity? In simple terms, this immunity is nothing but the immune system's way of protecting the body against the infectious disease. By the definition, immunity is the state of being resistant to a noxious agent or especially a pathogen or infectious disease. Immunity can, be, can occur naturally or be produced by prior exposure or by immunization, that is vaccination. Why is immunity important? Why should an individual have immunity? A healthy immune system can defeat the invading, the disease causing germs or the pathogens such as the bacteria, viruses, parasites as well as the cancer cells while protecting their own healthy tissues. For providing this immunity, the immune cells are important. Who provides immunity? The answer is the immune cells. The immune cells, they develop from the stem cells in the bone marrow and become different types of the white blood cells. We call them as the WBCs. So these immune cells include the neutrophils, the eosinophils, the basophils, mast cells, monocytes, macrophages, dendritic cells, natural killer cells and the lymphocytes. The lymphocytes are the B cells and the T cells. Now we will discuss about the type of immunity. What are the types of immunity? Immunity can be broadly categorized into two types, innate immunity and adaptive immunity. Innate immunity is body's first line of defense. Adaptive we can call as body's second line of defense. So this adaptive immunity can again be categorized into natural adaptive immunity or artificial adaptive immunity. This natural adaptive immunity, again it can be classified into active natural adaptive immunity and passive natural adaptive immunity. So the other type of adaptive immunity is the artificial immunity. This artificial adaptive immunity is again categorized into active artificial adaptive immunity and passive artificial adaptive immunity. We will get to know about what are these types of immunity. Before that, we will see what is the innate immunity. The innate immune responses, like I told earlier, are the first line of defense against the invading pathogens. Whenever a bacteria or whatever the pathogen is, is entering in our inside our body, these uh, in, uh, immune cells belonging to the, uh, which give the innate immunity will be in the first line of defense, invading those pathogens and moving or pushing or kicking out the pathogens out of the body. They are also required to initiate specific adaptive immune response. We will see what are the cells involved in giving the innate immunity. The macrophages, the dendritic cells, the neutrophils, the natural killer cells, the basophil, mast cell and the eosinophil are involved in giving an individual innate immunity. The B cells which produce antibodies and the T cells which produces the CD4 plus T cell and the CD8 plus T cells are responsible for giving an individual adaptive immunity. The natural killer cells, they play a important role. 
they become a bridge between the innate immunity as well as the adaptive immunity. Now we will discuss about the adaptive immunity. Adaptive immunity involves the specialized immune cells and antibodies that attack and destroy foreign invaders. I can give a small example. See, innate immunity can be compared to the police. Yeah, you heard me right, the police. So the police, uh, uh, what, they, what do they do? They protect the people, us from the criminals the bad from the bad people isn't it so the police are nothing but you can consider them to be innate immunity so whoever criminal comes the police will take action against them and they'll keep the law and order isn't it they'll put the criminal uh, behind the bars who violate the law, isn't it? So that you can consider as uh, for the innate immunity. So certain, sometimes certain criminals cannot be controlled by the police. However, they uh, take action, they'll escape and they'll still disturb the society, isn't it? So at that time, what we the what will be done? So a CBI will be working. So the CBI will work and find each and every information against that criminal who sources that criminal why is that criminal uh, not able to control so then the criminal um, is put under um, control put behind the bars by the cbi isn't it so the cbi is nothing but the adaptive immunity in our body so when the pathogen enters a body and is not able to and not controlled by the uh, immune cells of the innate immunity, then the adaptive immunity takes it role. This adaptive immunity involves the specialized immune cells. Okay, the B cells and the T cells, the B cells produce the antibodies. They are able to prevent disease in future also by remembering what those substances look like and mounting a new immune response. So once an um, uh, antibody is formed against a specific antigen by this adaptive immunity, again after the first encounter, again if the second time the same pathogen enters also, they will remember them and they will produce uh, antibodies in a short period and remove those pathogens. So, this adaptive immunity is also called as acquired immunity. It is categorized into two types we know as it, it natural adaptive immunity and artificial adaptive immunity. Under that, we are going to discuss about natural adaptive immunity. So, natural adaptive immunity is of two types, isn't it? Natural active uh, immunity and passive natural immunity so natural immunity is acquired from the exposure of the disease causing organism through infection with the actual disease so when an individual is infected with a particular pathogen uh, which was not controlled by the immune, uh, immune cells of the innate immunity then this natural immunity will work where the b cells will produce the antibodies or t cells will produce the specific t cells to remove those particular pathogens so, the other type is the passive natural immunity. It is provided when a person is given antibodies to a disease rather than producing them through his or own immune system. Example, we can take a newborn baby. Newborn baby acquires passive immunity from its mother. Through the placenta, the antibodies present in the mother passes to the baby. The other type is artificial adaptive immunity. So, we know that it is also uh, broadly categorized into two types, active artificial adaptive immunity and passive artificial adaptive immunity. So, what is active artificial adaptive immunity? It is nothing but immunization. It is acquired through the introduction of a killed or weakened form of disease causing organism through vaccination. The other type is passive 
artificial adaptive immunity here the immunoglobulins are taken and administered to an individual after exposure to a pathogen so directly uh, uh, antibodies are uh, taken from a healthy individual and given to the infected individual to overcome the disease so that is passive artificial adaptive immunity so in this uh, video we discussed about what is immunity what are cells uh, responsible for providing immunity and the types of immunity that is the innate immunity and adaptive immunity and we also saw the various types of adaptive immunity hope this video was useful and you gained the information and knowledge about what is immunity and its types thank you for watching hope this video was informative Thank you.